Hi, I'm Rick, and you're In the Whiskey Zone, a place where celebrating the spirit of the spirit is the price of admission. And what's on the agenda for today's show is a look at a peated Scotch whiskey that doesn't originate on an island known for peat, but instead comes from a peninsula that isn't known for that so much. I'm talking about the Long Row, produced by the Springbank Distillery, located in the town of Campbellton, next to the Campbellton Lock, in Argyll and Butte Council, Scotland. Up until very recently, the Springbank Distillery has been a single-family owned operation, and by family, I mean five generations worth, that produces three different types of malt whiskies and the Long Row range is the most heavily peated of the three, at around 50 ppm, which puts it right up there with other leaders in the peated whiskey world. Now, it has a different type of flavor profile from what you might find with, say, an Isla whiskey, for example, making it distinctive in its own right. The Long Row spirit is double distilled, and the barley is subjected to 48 hours of peat smoke in the process. Because of a commitment to an older, more traditional way of producing their whiskies, Springbank's annual bottle output isn't as large as some of their fans would like, which means they don't have as many bottles on the shelf as some other distillers do, which can make it often hard to find, and a little more expensive. This non-age statement release has been matured in ex-bourbon and ex-sherry casks, and has been bottled at 46% ABV. The label on the bottle mentions that it is non-chill filtered, but says nothing about added color. Now, I looked at the bottle of Springbank 10 that I tasted in review number 33, and that label states that there's no color added there. And online research tells me that Springbank doesn't add color to any of its whiskey, so we'll say no here. But Springbank, you should print that on the long roll label. It really doesn't take up much space. Now, the color shows off some lovely honey amber hues in the light. And I see some definite oiliness here with nice slow legs working their way down the glass. Now, there has been an enticing scent coming from this glass, so I think I should plunge my nose in to investigate. There's a lovely peat scent. Some earthiness. Some brine. There's a sweetness there. Tea. And light vanilla. So the next step is tasting the whiskey. Black pepper. Burnt sugar. Rhubarb. Sugar swizzle sticks. If you've ever been in the fancy bar, you know what I'm talking about. Cloves and buttered gluten-free scones. Now, this one is at 46% ABV, so I'm gonna let it sit with no added water. The finish is long and clingy. I get salt, sugar, and butter. And that's just on the lips. On the tongue, I'm left with burnt sugar, sweet mash, stewed fruits, smoke, and vanilla candy. This is a unique, deep, rich, robust, flavorful whiskey. That's a lot of adjectives for one sentence, I know. But this whiskey is worth them all. I'm a big peated whiskey fan. And in simple terms, this is one of the best I've tasted. It's different than the briny, medicinal Isla peat that I love, but it's got a unique flavor profile that's worth checking out, in my humble opinion. I will stand tall and say the long row release from J&A Mitchell & Company gets a 10-finger pour from me. Thanks for sharing five minutes of your time with me as we explored the Springbank Distillery's long row release. And if you're curious to find out a little bit more, then why not uncork my very own companion website, thewhiskeyzone.com. And if you'd like to let me know that you find some value here, then please subscribe, like, comment, or share. So until next time, drink smart, stay safe, and we'll see you again in the Whiskey Zone.